Modesto, I'm Bob Brinkman. And I'm Veronica Shapley. Tonight's story, aliens. <laughs> That's right, Veronica. Call them what you will, aliens, extraterrestrials, or little green men. Do they walk among us? Some locals would say yes after seeing strange lights up in the sky. Yeah, we saw it land in those woods. It's gotta be from outer space. Oh, but I'm ready for them. See? Tinfoil hat. <laughs> That'll stop them. <sighs> the worst date ever. So, what does the government have to say about this? We have with us again tonight, General W.R. Monger. Thank you, Bob. It's good to be on your fine program again. Some of you may remember the general from those reports of a giant woman spotted at a Modesto wedding. Allegedly spotted, Veronica. Those reports turned out to be entirely unsubstantiated. <laughs> now, seriously, General, what do you make of this? Are we being invaded by Martians? Martians? Of course not! So what do you think they saw out there? Well, in my professional opinion, I'd say it was a case of good old-fashioned swamp gas. Swamp gas? Ah, of course. Yes, Mr. President, that's right. Swamp gas. Huh? Works every time. Happy to help, sir. Best of boozy. I love my job. Ooh -ah. All right, people, with this supposed alien hoo-ha nonsense put to bed, we can finally get back to some serious business. So, monsters, let's reveal. Once a brilliant scientist researching recumbent DNA and the longevity of certain insects, a tragic accident changed him into a genius, mad genius, Dr. Cockroach, Ph.D. Other unsung heroes of science also paid the price for unchecked innovation. This time in the snacking industry, when a dessert topping was crossed with a genetically modified tomato. It resulted in a gelatinous mass that consumed several city blocks before it could be contained. Benzoate Ostalazine Bicarbonate. Although, uh, we just call him Bob. General, General Monger, sir? I have a question. What is it, Detrop? Uh, actually, it's it's Detro, sir. The, the, the P is silent. Silent P, huh? That ain't nothing but suspicious, mister. I'll be watching you. Next, when explorers in the Arctic discovered an accidentally thawed half-ape, half-fish missing link, he immediately made for the beach, where he made a giant pest of himself and set back male-female relations some 10 million years. Now, Insectosaurus, the unfortunate result of the carelessness of Adam Age Man. This behemoth is the reason why radioactive waste and grub worms absolutely do not mix. Just ask Japan. And finally, our newest monster, Dine Norman, or as she still likes to be called, Susan. After being hit by a meteor on her wedding day, she was infused with an unknown extraterrestrial element, after which she grew to a ginormous size. You get it? Pretty good, don't you think? 
ginormic. All right, everyone, honeymoon's over. Back to your post. Now, Detroit, show me my monster. Hey, Ginormica, if you're not gonna eat your oatmeal, can I have it, huh? Bob, please, let the poor girl eat. What? If she wants it later, I can always throw it up again. What does she want to lose? That's not the point. Ginormica here is obviously still trying to adjust to her newfound monsterhood. We should be sensitive. What are you saying, Doc? That we're not sensitive? Uh, wow, got a little gill in on that one. Besides, Think there's anything sensitive about her? Check out those hands, are you kidding? They're like man hands, times a million. Ugh. Okay, that's it. First of all, my name is not Ginormica. It's Susan. And second of all, I do not have man hands. And third, I am not, not a monster. I'm a girl, petite and sweet. Got it? Don't look now, but Miss Petite and Sweet just put her spoon through 18 inches of super steel. <sighs> Oh, look, Susan, leave the spoon. We'll just get Monga to give you another one. I don't want another spoon. I want that. Susan, dear, please be reasonable. Where would we go? Hey, how about Monster Beach? Bob, please, there's no such place. Look, I've got to do this. Otherwise, I'll just wind up staying here and settling. And for what? My latest invention! <laughs> oh, for heaven's sake, they're just homemade communicators. I happen to whip up, you know, just in case. General Monger, it's a stage four breach. What are we going to do? Hold your fudge, Detrop. I didn't get these birds by turning tail every time some monster showed me his ugly maw. Release the Avenger. All ground teams, I want those monsters fast. Report in. What the? Oh no! What do I do? How should I know? I'm a scientist, not a roller derby enthusiast. That lot of help you are. Ginormica is entering Sector 7. Seal off all exits. Susan, the doors are closing. We have to get you out of there. Whoa! There's the way out! Relax, Susan! You should be miles away from trouble now! Whoa! Hey! Uh-oh! Miles away, huh, Doc? Well, I could be a little off. Come on, Susan! You're both on wheels! Surely you can outskate this thing! Okay, then. Let's see how you roller boogie. Thank <laughs> you. 
Uh-oh. I waited so long, I forgot where I was going. Mayday, mayday! Big Orange has left the building. What? I don't understand what you're saying. Shut up and fly. We're in a whole lot of trouble. Sorry! Ejecting! Good morning, Modesto. Well, many residents woke up this morning to the sound of tanks and army trucks moving in. This has led some to ask the question, is there something going on, Veronica? That's right, Bob. Hundreds of residents were told to evacuate their homes. The military has cordoned off a 10-mile radius, and we've even heard reports that the president was flown in to make first contact with an alleged thing from another world. Wow! The president here! Hear that? Take that, San Francisco! Ha! For more on this, let's go live to the scene. Yes, Veronica and Bob, this is Enrico Puente, investigative reporter. As you can see, I am at the border of the incident, where the army has set up a roadblock around what I am told is a crater. A pit of some sort, with something inside. It's deathly quiet. We're just waiting here, as the moments tick by, for something, anything, to happen. Excellent work, Enrico. Can you tell us anything else? TV. Bob, the channel is on the blink. Just change it. Yeah, try something tropical and cool. You mean like Monster Beach? Ugh, not that again. I don't understand. Why can't we talk about Monster Beach? Because, my girl, that is simply pointless. Based on our current situation, it is clear to me that we are never leaving this facility. Any of us. For any reason. Ever. Monsters, guess what? You are leaving this facility. Hurrah. All right, monsters, listen up. Here's a sit -rent. Because of the recent change in our alert status, the president has authorized me to offer you amnesty and a place of your own, in return for a small favor. <gasps> Monster Beach? How about the island of Nihau? In Hawaii. Wait a second, what's the catch, monger? No catch, fish stick. All you have to do is help us get rid of a hideous alien robot menace it's stomping its way through San Francisco. All right, General. We agree. But not the small island. We want Kauai. Monsters, you've got yourself a deal. So, here's what you're up against. Oh, crud. I knew you'd be pleased. The drop, take us in, huh? Whoa! Whoa! All right, you monsters, a deal's a deal. Now get out there and do what you do best. I want to see 100% USDA prime choice grade A monstering. Got me? You're up first, Ginormica. Hey, once and for all, the name is Susan. I am not a monster. And why me? Because between the egomaniacal fish ape, the bug-headed scientist, and the talking sneeze, I'd say the girl with the giant legs wins the cupid doll. Understand? Now get going, pronto. Go! All right, knock it off, monkey boy. Time to get to work. Man, kick a guy for trying to lighten the mood.
Susan, Bob, you are a go for Operation Home Run. Right. Ready? Ready, Susanna Ginormica. Hey, cut it out, that tickles. Bingo, this one's going right over home plate. Whee! Ouch! Oops. Uh, I'm okay. I'm okay! Ooh, that was a goodie. Good evening, Modesto. Again, I'm Bob Brinkman. And I'm Veronica Shapley. Tonight, surprising news. For years, mankind has pondered the question, are we alone in the universe? Well, tonight, we have our answer. We do? I mean, we do, Veronica. Thank you, Bob. Ernie, can we roll that clip? Greetings, people of Earth. Behold, I am Galaxar, and I will soon be the ruler of the entire universe. I have come for my Quantonium. Give it to me at once. Wow! Will you look at that? He appeared in every major city in every corner of the globe, addressing them in their own language. Bonjour les gens de la terre. Salute la gente de terra earthy. I say hello you lot down there on terra firma. I want my quantonium. Give it to me or I will annihilate your puny planet. Come on, mankind. I haven't got all day. Release the scorpion robot -y thingy. My quantonium. Find this human female. She has my quantonium. For the record, I do not have his quantuminium. Uh, quantonium. Whatever. I wouldn't worry about that, Susan. That alien misfit has not only invaded the airspace of the good old U.S. of A., but I'm sure has also violated about 700 FCC regulations with that fancy sky projector of his. And one thing those Washington boys do not take kindly to is people who monkey around with their rules and regs. Wardrobe malfunctions included. Hoorah. What in the heck? The Trump report, what was that? Whatever it was, General, it seems to have hit the ground. Very close by. All right, everyone, spread out. Time to get some recon. Huh? Okay, I see it. Oh boy, it's another robot. But, General, I'm looking at this thing, and I tell you, the only thing we need to get is gone. Call in the jets, the marines, the bounties, anyone. Let's beat speed out of Aliensville. This one is too much. Hate to tell you this, son, but there is no one else. Zack Command says they moved against the alien ship. Couldn't even scratch its paint job. It really is just us now. Hmm, there must be a force field protecting the ship. But this robot doesn't appear to have one. Maybe it was damaged in the impact. Well, that's something, at least. Oh, no! Susan, it sees you! What? Watch out, Insecto Buddy. This one is Major League Serious. Insectosaurus! No! Wait, Bob! Don't go out there! Bob! Bob! What are you doing? I'm calling this bad guy out. Relax, I've seen it a thousand times on TV. But this isn't TV, Bob. Bob! Okay, Varmint, it's just you and me now. Your 
Bob, you're okay. How did you do that? Never mind. You appear to be in the central optical power complex. A veritable labyrinth of technological wonder. Uh, don't look now, but they've got one heck of a light show at the other end of that hallway. My advice, I keep out of its way. Come on, Insectosaurus. We've been through too much together for you to go like this. Hang on, pal. We'll get you patched up. But first, I gotta take care of a pest. Uh, Bob, Veronica, you're not gonna believe this. Holy smokes! Take us live! Take us live! Hey, haven't you had enough? here we've got a situation we've already taken a crack at that thing now we need to divert its attention away from the area and insectosaurus why do i know what's coming so we need to let it spot you and for you to lead it away on a kind of wild goose chase with me as the goose yes but remember susan you're now a 50 foot tall 16,000 pound goose with skates i almost forgot about those Oh, I do like a girl who knows how to surprise the enemy. my quantonium. Now, my plan for galactic conquest can continue. Oh no, there's hundreds of them. Hundreds? Ha! Try thousands. And with them, I will change the face of your world. <laughs> Foolish female Earther, there is no escape. That force field can withstand the strength of ten strong men. Ha! First of all, you've clearly never heard of girl power. And second, you may not have noticed, but I'm a little taller than most. Some might even say, ginormous. Commencing cloning sequence.
Good evening, Modesto. Bob Brinkman here. And Veronica Shapley. Tonight's story... We're being invaded. Yes, it appears to be the end of the world as we know it. For more on this historic and world-changing event, we go live to Enrico Puente in the field. General Monger! General Monger, sir, a word! I understand, sir, that the President himself has issued a Code Brown alert in the face of this alien invasion. Care to comment? Well, there you have it, Veronica and Bob. As usual, the military has no comment. Nice of General Monger to give us his plane. I don't think Nice had anything to do with it. He's right, Bob. We need to get on board the alien mothership, find Susan, and work out some way of stopping them. Only a small tactical team will do. Yeah, it's a next to impossible mission. Oh, I love that show! By the way, Doc, I didn't know you knew how to fly a plane. Well, you pick up these things when you're a scientist, you know. There it is! The landing bay. Hang on, both of you. This might just get a tad rough. Whoa! Ah! You're coming in too hard. I think you're too cold. I think I'm just right. Ah! Yeah! Perfect three-point landing, if you ask me. No welcoming committee? Must all be at the party. All right, let's split up. Bob, see if you can locate Susan. She's somewhere in the ship. The missing link? Do whatever you can to disrupt the invasion. We need to buy the Earth some time. I'll coordinate the mission from the plane. We wouldn't want it walking off now, would we? This plane can walk? That's awesome! No wonder it's so secret. Is it a giant robot too? Out. What the? See, I told you the element of surprise wouldn't last long. Uh, oh, great. I think this swell time to be right for a change. Doc? Mm -hmm. I don't know, Bob. He was right there one minute, and then, I don't know. But that doesn't change our mission, Bob. We've still got to find Susan and somehow stop the aliens. Do you understand? For Susan, for the missing link, for Monster Beach. Monster Beach? Bob? Bob? No! Monster Beach needs me! And nobody messes with Monster Beach on my watch. I'll do it! Not fun. The missing link? Is that you? I'm reading you now. I must say I am positively thrilled to hear your voice. Well, I gotta say, Doc, you sound pretty good too. You know, in a guy kind of way. You'll have to find a way back inside the mothership, the missing link. There should be a cannon assembly just above you. That should do. Pitiful human, I have you now. Wait, what are you supposed to be? I'm Bob, and Bob's me. Bob, B-O-B. -B. Here, I made up a little song to help me remember. Want to hear? Silence, uh, Bob. You are an intruder on my flagship. Rest assured, my clones are coming for you. And when they find you, I, Galaxar, will annihilate you personally. Bob, are you all right? Yeah. Boy, these aliens are really crabby. And they're kind of squiddy, too. Computer, what's happening? 
Plutonium containment has failed. The ship's power core is going critical, and structural integrity is falling rapidly. At this rate, I predict a complete and catastrophic collapse. Full breach imminent. Never mind all that! What about my Plutonium? So done with skating. Let's get out of here. Ah. Uh. Any of you monsters know where I could pick up a slightly used alien mothership? You're okay. And look at you. You've got wings. Yep, he's got them. And I figured, what the heck? Time to put them to good use. Hooray! Come on, this crate is coming down. We better get out of Dodge. Man, I've always wanted to say that. 